Hello, Bhaiya. Hello, everyone. Uh, good evening. I hope everyone is doing fine. So I find it this today is a crucial is a crucial topic we are talking about this transportation system of Bangladesh. So uh, from our previous discussion, uh, from our pre previous participants uh, discussion, uh, we have already come to know many of the concerning issues of the discussing topic actually. So here we know it is known to us that there are four ways of transportation system in our country. It is road transport system, they are road transport system, like uh, water transport system, railway transport system, and air transport system. And also as most of the country, most of the people of our country are not, are not financially that much solvent. So many, so road transport system and railway transport system are the most uh, like, like overused ways of transportation. And we know that uh, if we talk about this concerning transportation systems like road transport system and water transport system, uh, we'll find that uh, it, regarding road, road transport system, we'll find that there are various types of vehicles are used uh, while using this transportation system. Like uh, in the local areas, it is rickshaws, auto rickshaws, then CNG, rapid taxis. Then uh, if we go to like, like from one district to another district, there are like four wheelers, like bus, buses, trucks, and other vehicles are available. There are also uh, private cars as well. So majority of the people of our country are uh, mostly introduced with this uh, like popular transportation system. And apart from this, uh, we also use like railway transportation system. Uh, though the Britishers, like after the invention of railways uh, in the world in 1930s, 1830s, I'll say uh, the British uh, administra uh, administrative authorities introduced railway transportation system in 1850s, mid 1850s, I guess. So after that, uh, our transport, uh, uh, we have many things to see. We have had many things to see in this sector, but our this transportation system or this sector didn't develop so much. But nowadays it is developing uh, with the hand of the like uh, running government. They are trying and they are trying to pop up many things. Are developing the system like the metro rail system. Also, they are also talking about or taking initiatives to uh, establish like underground railway system, though I don't know when they will be implemented, but uh, I'll, I would love to stay hopeful about this system. After that, uh, we know that another transportation system is like water transportation system. Uh, as it is known to us that Bangladesh is a riverine country, there are um, innumerable amounts of rivers in our country, actual number I don't know, and more or less like there will be, the number will be a thousands, uh, I guess. So also this water transportation system was a popular one when the road transportation system didn't develop that much. But after, the road transportation system developed after the development of road transportation or the infrastructural transportation system, infrastructure of the transportation systems, then it got, uh, it started to get unpopul uh, unpopularized, I guess. So, but though it got unpopular, but the people from like Southern part of our country uh, were known to or habituated to this uh, water transportation transportation system like pretty much like after the inauguration of the Padma Bridge, I guess. And uh, until then, 
they use like launch steamers boat and also like uh ships are also used here as a transportation method uh, in water transportation process uh, apart from that as it is known to us that uh, like there are least amount of people like financially solvent in our country uh, for a re for this reason like air transportation system is not popular here in our country though there are three international airports in our country and also like some seven or eight other domestic airports uh, in our country but these are least uh, popular method of transportation like the air transportation system well, uh, concerning the development of the transportation systems like Khoslulbari Bhai have earlier mentioned, the government is not like boosting the developmental process uh, in a like coherent process. Like the, uh, if we want to have a sophisticated uh, transportation method, we should have had uh, we should have worked on all four methods uh, at a time. Uh, we should have uh, like identified the errors we have and we have the, uh, the pitfalls uh, we have or we are having now. Uh, we should take proper initiations. We should have taken the proper initiations uh, concerning uh, as solving the problems concern so to boost the so to solve the problems we need to take and the government need to take proper and sophisticated initiations like uh, which will be practical but there are many problems uh, regarding like these issues uh, I don't want to talk about many, most of, most of the issues are known to us as the specialists and the like intellectual people are already have talked about these issues many times. And since my childhood, I am listening to this. I've grown up uh, like n listening to the problems millions of times, I guess, but the government comes and goes, but I don't see, I see less amount of improvement in the sectors. Okay, he has got frozen and it is time also to end uh, his talk. So I will stop recording.